just went out there with great execution. You know, coach put a plan together. Coach Abel, you know, that's the uh, head of the punt, punt block team, put a plan together. You know, he believed in us, and we believed in the plan that he had uh, implemented for us. So we went out there and executed, and uh, you know, it, it went pretty high. So I thought that one of my other teammates got it before I looked up, but then I looked up and it was still hanging in the air. So. What were the emotions like for the team? Just you know, going through the week without coach, then he comes in on Thursday, and then to see, you know get him his first win this uh, on Saturday and have him out there with you. Well, all the players you know felt for coach, but at the same time, we knew that he wanted us to handle business, and that's what we did throughout the week. We knew that every, nothing was going to change with with uh, you know Coach Lineberg or Coach Clay's you know taking over, but we knew that we needed to come out. We needed to perfect what we had implemented for us as far as the game plan is concerned. We knew that Coach Kidd wanted us to do everything right, you know, on and off the field. So we took that, you know, as senior leaders and we implemented that and told the younger guys that we, we still need to work. There's still a game at hand, whether the coach is with us or without us. We really got to go out and perform. So, you know, the biggest thing was, you know, guys felt for Coach, you know, but it was exciting to see him come back on Thursday and really, you know, get back into the game plan. Cam, the last play, could you describe the last play? I knew there were six seconds left, and um, my assignment was um, making sure nothing gets behind me. Seeing the ball in the air, I knew I had to give it all, all I had. Johnny had great underneath coverage, so I just uh, went for a great spot on the ball, and luckily it came off. Duane, you seem a lot more calm today than we've seen in the past. What was it like just him kind of taking the back seat today and not doing some of the things he's done? Well, um, you know, taking the backseat allowed me to see, see it in a different light, you know. Uh, being a being an all-around team player, you know, when your numbers call, you got to go out and perform. And uh, we knew we had a great plan together. We knew that, you know, we were going to go out and perform. But whatever the coaches asked me to do, I made sure I went out there and did it, whether it was blocking, you know, punt block, or kick return. You know, I just made sure that I was, I was the best overall player out there on the field that I could be. And, uh, you know, taking the backseat, it means nothing to me, you know, if it means that we're going to get a win. So I'm all about, you know, wins. Donald, can you talk about contributing to Coach Kill's first win? I mean, I got to give a lot of credit to DeJuan and uh, DeMonte and David and Devin Cobb because without them, I probably wouldn't work as hard as I do. They push me, like they push me to work as hard as I can just to get a little playing time. And um, the first two weeks, I don't believe I did that. And last week, I believe I stepped up, I stepped up to how they were pushing me just to play a better game. Than Practice better this whole time. Kim, they're driving down on you guys at the end of the game there. What's kind of going through your head as, as, as they're moving closer? I mean, are you watching the clock and wanting that thing to speed up? or? Uh, yeah, definitely. As a DB, you got to watch the clock, watch the um, down the distance. You got to be aware of all those things. And But the number one thing that was in my mind was win, win, win. You know, we have came so far as a team, you know, and as a um, our coaching staff that we, we definitely need to get this W underneath that belt so you know kind of get things rolling and I think that's what this one's going to do. I mean nothing's guaranteed. We got to uh, go back this week in practice and work harder and build off of this. So I'm just I'm just really excited that we got the W. One or two more from these guys and then we'll let these other guys get up here. The line it looked like you guys were going to get a punt earlier. Did you kind of feel like you were going to get one before the day was over? You were you guys were close on him a couple of times earlier. Oh, uh, most definitely. You know, it's something that we saw, you know, throughout the game and throughout the week we saw it on film. And uh, I think the biggest thing that helped us was communication on the sideline. When we when we got close the first time, we went off and told Coach Chavez what we saw, which gave him a chance to kind of dial something up. So by us having great communication and great, you know, uh, discipline to our assignment, it really allowed us to go out there and get a chance, you know, to go go for the block. So we really really felt comfortable with what we saw. We went we went with our gut feeling, and Coach Chavez called the called the correct play. We went out and uh, executed. One more for these guys, anybody? Hearing none.